Hey everyone, this is uh, Pedro Torres here from Caveata Quarter Horse and Cattle Company. So, I want to introduce you guys. Some of you may may know him already. This is our um, one of our horses here on the ranch. His name is Navajo. I just want to give a quick story um, over something that I just found a kind of a solution to. Uh, I've had some problems with him. These were problems uh, with his front feet that were reflecting in his face and in the movement when, when he rode. It was uh, very uncomfortable. So I quickly discovered that he was running, you know, loping, doing everything that he did on his front end. <clears throat> very forward, kind of heavy in the face. Uh, mostly to the left side than the right side and after talking to several trainers as we do give, give each other advice and try to help uh, each other troubleshoot some problems um, I, I was able to troubleshoot that his front feet um, he was he was longer on the inside um, in the medial than, than he was anywhere else. So therefore his hoof was growing to the outside, right? Um, and everything that he was doing when I was riding him, everything was reflecting in his face, okay? He was heavy to the left. Um, he was just really awkward, very forward, okay? And after, after trimming him one time, you know, trying to get him back to normal, I was able to, to talk to the vet. He was out here doing some coggins and some stuff. And I asked him to take a look at him. Um, our vet is very knowledgeable and a, and a good vet. <clears throat> and he found some issues there in his knee. His knee was kind of tight. He couldn't quite pick it up or stretch it out as far as he should have because we were trying to correct his hoof, right? But I felt like there was more to the puzzle than just that. So we gave him some time off. Um, didn't really mess with him a whole lot. Due to the fact that he's one of our horses, he kind of went on the back burner. So we put him on the back burner. And every once in a while, we would take him out for a Sunday stroll, like they say. And then we were able to talk to a good friend of ours um, Miss Darlene Flanagan from, uh, and I'll probably butcher this so my wife can correct me. Um, what was it? Renaissance. <laughs> you can edit that. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Renaissance Equine Therapy. Renaissance Equine Therapy. There you go. I'm not good with names as you guys know. So she came out earlier <clears throat> and this horse uh i felt like there were a lot of holes in them in, in my in, you know when i brought him along and started him i felt like i probably left a lot of holes open he was always very boogery he was always very uptight about his face anytime you want to approach him just a few hours ago when when we took him out of his stall he was very very uptight you know and um, again, I think it's, I'm sure it was more of a muscle thing and she was kind enough to come out and see us and, and work on them. So from the moment <clears throat> that we put them in our, in our cross ties or in our wash pit, she wanted them loose so he can move around if he, if he wanted to, she started working on them. And of course, um, she's, she, she has a very gentle approach very uh understanding very very uh she she accommodates the horse and makes it as as easy of an experience like a a true horsemanship would and very understanding with them she started up here in this pole anytime before today he was very uptight anytime he touches his ears as you can tell he kind of moved around for a minute but anytime you would reach for him, he would he would pin his ears back and just kind of avoid you at all costs. 
She started up front, ears. He would do that, but a hundred times worse and kind of try to walk away from me. Um, and then she just kind of worked her way back and all the way to the tail. After, I would say, what, maybe 20 minutes into the, into the session, I saw a big change in facial expression in him. Um, so what we were able to find out is he had to make up for everything he was lacking down here with his whole front and upper side of his body, if that makes sense. Because he wasn't able to walk true, like, like he's used to walking normal footsteps. He was crooked. He couldn't, you know, his tendons, uh, suspensory, knees, that couldn't support him good enough. He had to make up <clears throat> for it with every other muscle that runs in his shoulders, all through his neck, all the way up to his pole. And he was always very uptight. You go to reach for him, he, he was always like, don't touch me. That's not comfortable. But just, I guess she was probably here an hour and a half, maybe. Just with that quick massage all throughout his body, she was able to loosen him up a little bit and pinpoint some of those some of those spots. Um, and I have a completely different horse. So <clears throat> where I'm going with all this advice, and it's not necessarily just a plug for Miss Darlene. Um, she is she is very very good with horses and very good at what she is and does. Um, as far as um, working with horses, but my overall goal for this message here is if you guys are having problems with a horse and it's reflecting in their face, it's always a good idea to go back and check the foundation of the horse. Start from the legs up, troubleshoot it, make sure um, that something that's not out of line so you don't end up with these results in the future. And again, um, Miss Darlene has done a really, really good job with this horse. You know, just with one session, she's gonna come out and hopefully do a few more. But uh, I hope this is helpful to some of y'all. I know this is not the only horse I've worked with that I have seen these issues with. Um, We've dealt with them before. We just we we were never able to put our hands on that on that problem uh, to the fullest. So I think that's it for now. This is Pedro Torres again from Caveata.